Hi, I'm Mike Carden, CEO of Sonar 6. You might remember me from such videos as, thank goodness we got rid of that guy, John Holt. Hey, that's not very nice. But I'm here today to talk about something completely different, something completely new, which is Sonar 6 Analytics. Sonar 6 Analytics is a huge thing for us. Basically what it does is it takes all the great information that you collect during performance reviews and it rolls that up into a kind of helicopter view of the whole business, of everything that's happening. In fact, it builds a series of interactive infographics that allow you to drill in and understand what's happening in teams and people and, and divisions of your business. So I'm going to hand over now to some of the people who actually built the product to give you a bit of an insight on in how you build something like Sonar 6 Analytics. Well, one of the things that was very important in the new Heliview was understanding how the customers were using it. And um, we got some great feedback from some of our implementation people who actually go out on site and work with the customers when they're first putting things in place. And they would see what people were trying to do with the old Heliview. And then they would come back with suggestions um, on what we could do to provide things to them in the new one. Um, such as a, a greatly improved way of seeing who people's managers are, which the old one didn't really supply and the new one does. And I think you, you've got to listen to people who are actually seeing it being used by customers, that's really important. I'm quite liking the, the use of colour that we're putting into the product and the, the way that we're really visually displaying stuff um, in a way that we weren't able to do in the, the old version of Heliview. And I think it makes quite uh, a striking display so you can really easily pick out the stuff that you're interested in viewing. And I think that was something we lost kind of in the old design. I'm li I'd like to see the data leaping up off the page, which is, which is what it's doing with the colour thing. Well, um, I think my favourite feature is the, um, the trend key. I think um, having a visual um, representation of where people sit on the grid and where they've come from from the last round is really helpful for managers and it's really colourful as well so I think it's, uh, it adds a little bit of uh, extra magic to the product so it looks good. Uh, my single favourite feature would have to be what we call the people card. It shows a really interesting way to get all the detail about a person and then you can view the, the relationships around the organisation which I think is a really good way of looking at your data. viewing people's results from their relationships. The most challenging feature for me, I guess, is the zoom and pan again, uh, because we're introducing a new control scheme, uh, but we also make it, want to make it easy, so for the existing users, they are easy to understand and easy to use. See, well, the whole thing was pretty challenging to test, um, but because this is such a graphical solution to a mathematical problem, I had to go back to all my high school maths and revisit my trigonometry and all my, my equations and stuff and rebrief myself on maths tests just so I could make sure the math was all right for this grid display. And that was pretty painful. I didn't enjoy the test. <laughs> there were quite a few funny moments. When you're putting software together very often, one piece will get added and that the whole thing will come down crashing in a big pile. So we had quite a few of those and there was, there was screaming and wailing and gnashing of teeth. But, but yeah, you, you get through it with, with humour and, and with lolcats.